Let's begin the show with the great news for me the media industry in Nigeria. Now, Ripples Nigeria has been announced as one of the winners of the Gogo Innovation Challenge for Middle East, Turkey, and Africa. So, congratulations to one of our own. Sam, what's the implication of this? For our industry, uh, first uh, I'd like to begin with Ripples Nigeria. For us, it's a big recognition, it's a global mm. recognition uh, as a platform that has chased innovation you know, through technology in the last couple of years. So, for us, it's, um, it's a big win. Uh, in terms of uh, what role we have chosen to play, you know, uh, in the industry, and that is bringing innovation to play, you know, in all that we do. For Nigeria, it's also a very big win. Um, there were altogether about 329 applications across 35 countries of the world, mm. uh, and we had 22 winners from 14 countries. Mm. Nigeria happened to have produced three of those winners, and that's why I think that is a very big you know, mm. win for Nigeria. Ripples, Ripples Nigeria. We have Nige. Mm. And um, one other one, I think, that's team, you know, um, I'm not sure of the, of the name now, but mm. three of us, you know, from Nigeria um, mm. were listed. So, like I said, it's a very big win, not just for Ripples Nigeria as a platform, but also for the, for the country. And I want to, you know, seize the opportunity to congratulate my colleagues at Ripples Nigeria. Very fantastic team. It's been very hard, you know, serious hard work in the last couple of years. And I think that is also a, a defeating reward for. Uh, organizations, especially within the Nigerian media space, that have committed themselves to independent journalism, you know, and, and innovation. Um, I think others can can learn from uh, what we have done and grow the industry. Nigeria is going to be better for it, and we hope that uh, the project that we are bringing, you know, to uh, to the industry would also uh, impact not just Nigeria but Africa, because it's something that has to do with geojournalism. Mm. Uh, of course, you know that we've got global challenges in the area of um, of, of the environment and all that. And mm. what we want to do, you know, is targeted at helping Nigeria and indeed the rest of Africa manage, you know, environment and live a sustainable society for the world. That's what's the implication of this? You are also in this sector. Well, I think um, first congrats um, to Sam and the team. Thank you. And um, let me say, it's um, for me, what should serve as an eye-opener to others. We practitioners, we seem to get too busy mm. producing the news, mm. content as it is, mm. without focusing on those things that can elevate what Around it. Yes, it happens. Because obviously we can't fund all the things we want to do, mm. especially with the economy mm. not running too well. I can tell you that if you ask um, journalists about this innovation challenge, a lot of them will tell you they don't know about it. Hmm. So I too think busy too busy news. producing the not news and not elevating like the practice. Like so they are not taking the opportunities. Hmm. It's just like I say, in those days when I was in the print, you ask some people, even the awards organized by Nigeria Media Metrics Award and others like them, how many people apply? Whereas hmm. you have some very great stories. Hmm. Outside. Outside of, I mean, what you, you, know, you have written, but you are yeah. so focused on the next story that you are losing sight of the opportunities that can come. Mm. The Wale Shoyinka mm. journalism uh, platform is there now. Turning out a few things here and there, but... So in investigative, investigative journalism. journalism. But most of us are locked. So I, 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 I think I congratulate you for mm. focusing on what should be. Outside the time. How okay. we are going to run.